Hey guys, so today I wanted to sit down and do a makeup look that I swear I have not had so many people request this makeup look and to me it was just so simple. It was a really matte brown smoky eye. I used these new shadows that I'm gonna show you guys today. Actually, I gotta say, when I did my makeup this day, I'd have to agree something about it just worked. I don't know why, it just looked so nice. And the real difference, the real only thing was the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. You guys, okay, so you know, I did a video on Charlotte Tilbury. I think I did a full face of Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I will link it up here if I, if I did. I think that is what it was. And in that, I tried the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Mm. Oh, YMCA, <laughs> bring me back. I remember thinking, God, it really is magical. It's not just the hype. And then I didn't use it again after that because I'd been using my Tatcha Dewey skin cream and I was like, ah, it's just too expensive. I can't use it all that down my channel. So I used it the other day off camera and I just did my makeup and I was floored at just how beautiful my makeup looked. It held up so beautifully all day. I felt like I looked plump and healthy and fresh. So many of you guys on Instagram, sorry, like even influencers and I was just like, this is just a regular makeup look. So I'm just gonna go through what I did. It's just gonna be laid back and chill. We're gonna do our makeup and just have a good time together. Before we get into the video, this portion of today's video is actually sponsored by ThreadUp. So you guys know I have worked with ThreadUp many times in the past. If you don't know who they are, they are an online thrifting company. So instead of going to the thrift store and rifling through the racks and trying to find things that way, it's all sorted out for you. Easy to scroll through online. You can sort it out via size, color, brand. If you want tops, pants, skirts, you can really customize the search. So for me personally, I just find it so easy to shop on. ThreadUp is offering my viewers 30% off of your first order. If you guys want to check it out, you guys can click the link in the description of this video and enter the code Christy30 at checkout and that'll save you 30% off. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. This year of all years in my life, I have made it a point to try and live as sustainably as I can. For myself, I like to shop secondhand because it just, for me, is a sustainable way to buy clothes. It's not that fast fashion. Of course I like new clothes, but to me this is new, you know? And all of the clothes have always come in fantastic condition. And I'm gonna show you guys some clothes that I got from them today. I wanted flowy, comfortable things that I could just pop on with a pair of jeans and a pair of sneakers and then just be out the door. So this first sweater that you guys see me wearing here today, this is actually a sweater from Vici, I think is how you pronounce it. Estimated retail was $95 and I got it for $27.99. It is really high quality, thick, really nice cable knit. This would be really warm in the winter or fall time as well. I'm wearing it right now because Washington, like I said, has been so different in its weather, but it's just so cute. I love the colors. I'm trying to get out of only wearing black. So as you guys will see, I don't know if I got a single black item this time. Can you believe it? Me either. And I'm actually gonna take this sweater off because I'm hot. So this next item that I got that I just put on is actually from Old Navy. Estimated retail price was $27. I got it for $13.99. This one I love. I like to take shirts like this and tie the bottom of them up into like a little knot so that it kind of sits more high-waisted. And it's just so comfortable. This one's really airy, but it's also nice quality. I really, really like this one a lot. So then I got this pullover hoodie. Estimated retail around $48. And I got it for $21.99. And this hoodie is so cute. I know you guys are like thinking, Christy, it's summer, why hoodies? This is me we're talking about, okay? I wear hoodies almost every day. It doesn't matter how hot it is outside. And I love the color of this so much. It is so flattering. It's just such a soft blush pink color. And I just love it. It fits really nice. It's really comfortable. Love it. Then I got this Old Navy short sleeve button down shirt and it's estimated retail price was $27. I got it for $15.99. And this is the one that I have been wearing so often because the size of it fits me so good. It's an extra large, so it is a little bit loose and flowy on me. And that makes for the most airy, comfortable shirt. Sometimes if something kind of sits weird, if you tie it up in a little knot, it can really change the whole structure of the shirt. So that's what I love to do for these. And it just makes them look, I don't know, a little more like stylish in my opinions. This is the brand Caslon. Estimated retail price on this one is 48 and I got it for $17.99. This one sits like empire wasted on me, but even this one, you could tie up if you wanted to. I like it a little empire waist and I could picture wearing this with a pair of denim shorts and a cute pair of white sneakers, which is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm a long sleeve girl. I don't know about you guys, but the longer the sleeve, the better for me. So this is a win. And the final item I've actually worn a few times as well. This is an active wear by Old Navy. So estimated retail on this one was 36. I got it for $25.99. It is such a comfortable sweater. It's got a really high neck that comes up. Look at that high neck. I've got the Amelia fart moment. 
Oh, yeah. No, let me hit you. Hit me with that up angle. What chin? If you guys are interested in checking out ThreadUp, you guys can click the link in the description box down below and at checkout, use the code Christy30 and that will save you 30% off of your first order at ThreadUp. Thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video and now we're gonna get into the makeup. We're gonna chat about life and talk about these products because I have found a new eyeshadow palette that I just really, really love and I think you guys will love too, so let's go. All right, so when I did my makeup the other day, the first step that I started with was the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. You guys, it is really magic. I don't know what it is. Is it just sunscreen? It feels like a solid sunscreen. It smells like a solid sunscreen. It smells literally like you're running around at Wild Waves and a family of freshly sunscreened people run past you. That's that smell, but in like the best way. I don't know if it really was this product that made my skin just look so good the other day, but it's foundations I've used many times before and I swear, I just, it held up so well throughout the day. It was just like magic. Charlotte. I've been using the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream for like the last two months, I'd say. And I love it. I love it, love it, love it so much. But this is just different. I don't know. It feels so nice. So I'm gonna let that sit and sink into my skin for a few, just so that I can really get moisturized. So I've been uploading kind of different content lately. I'm sure some of you have noticed. I did my microscope video, which I will link up here. And I love so much. I decided to make it into a series a couple of weeks ago. And now I have finally kicked that off with my first microscope video. I have so many ideas that I wanna do for this series. I have such fun things planned. I have an entire list of things that you guys have been requesting. And so I, I am I'm so thankful that you guys love that series as much as I do. It was so fun for me to film and you guys being kind about me kind of changing up my content a little bit, but in a way that I'm really liking is lovely. I gotta say, basically I'm trying to avoid creator burnout. I'm trying to avoid getting to a place where I just don't wanna film because I feel like my content's getting stale. And I was getting into that point. I love filming Get Ready With Me's. I love, 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 love doing it so much, but I just was kind of lost. I was like, how many times times can I say that I like a product? And so it's really nice that you guys have been receiving it well. I also filmed a video, which I will also link up here. I followed a watercolor paint tutorial. I really enjoyed filming that. It was so fun for me to just do something different and sit down and be creative in another way that wasn't just makeup. So I'm glad you guys are liking those. It's been really an amazing weight lifted off my shoulders. So I put a ton of pressure on myself. Sorry, this is gonna be just like a chatty get ready with me. I can't help it. The foundation that I used the other day was the Catrice Liquid Coverage Foundation, which I love this foundation so much. This is the one that smells like a rich baby. And then I mixed it with the CYO Long Lasting Life Proof Foundation. It was a beautiful combo. So let's see if it also is today. The color I'm using is 034 in Catrice and 107 in the CYO. I think I put too much foundation on. Sometimes I do my eyes first. Sometimes I do my skin first lately. It's been skin first again. I'm gonna show you guys an eyeshadow palette today that is lovely. It's from a brand I've never used before. They sent me their eyeshadows. I tried them on camera, hated the video, scrapped it completely. You guys wouldn't have liked it, I promise. So I didn't get my first reaction on camera with it, but that's okay. I know my reaction to it. So what I was saying was it's been like a huge weight lifted off my shoulders to be more, I don't even know how to say it. Giving myself less of a strict schedule with uploading because what I had done is I put myself in a in a upload schedule since 2012. I've been uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And that's fine. I love that upload schedule. It's been what I've been doing. But then the problem is, is if I miss a day, I feel guilty. And then I beat myself up about it. And because I upload three days a week, I feel the need to just pump out videos. And I am trying to come up with video ideas and I'm trying to th figure things out on the spot. And I'm like, what should I do? And what could be good? Cause I need to get a video up tomorrow. Instead of filming videos that I love doing and that I want to do, and maybe uploading two videos a week, I have put this pressure on myself that it has to be three. Monday, Wednesday, freaking Friday. And there's no reason for that. Why? I don't have to do that. It's what I have told myself I was gonna do. And so for the last couple of weeks, and you guys may not have even noticed because I haven't made it a thing, I haven't been uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have been uploading whenever I feel like it. And it has been fantastic. It has given me the creative freedom to come up with ideas to where I'm not pumping out 
so many videos, I can come out with videos that I feel are better and that I like more and that I can give more time and creativity to, like my watercolor video. That was so fun for me and had I had to get a video up on Monday, I wouldn't have been able to do that because I wouldn't have had the time to do it. I'm really loving that you guys are being receptive to it, you're being patient, and you're just wonderful. And you're allowing me to kind of go in the direction that I wanna go with my YouTube channel. Of course, it's gonna stay a mostly makeup channel. I like things more than just makeup, and I think that that is something that I really want to convey in my life. There is so much more that I wanna talk about than just makeup, because for me, I, I love art and I love my garden, which I do have my second YouTube channel. You guys can check out up there where we talk about gardening. There's a video coming soon about our new worm compost. If you are interested, if you are not, well, don't go watch. Can't even tell you the amount of joy that that channel has brought me is, is, is unbelievable. It's unmeasurable. It's been the most wonderful thing because it is a facet to myself and a part of me that I have not been sharing. Not for any reason. Oh, by the way, this is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Biscuit. Light Biscuit? All right. But I've been so strictly a makeup channel for the last, oh, six, seven years. Aside from talking very briefly here and there about things that I like in Chit Chat Get Ready With Me's, I've never shared a larger side or different side to myself online at all. I always just keep it to makeup beauty and then I'll like be like oh I like Great British Bake Off or oh I love watching Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings. I don't really share the deeper parts to my life which to me are so important and they take up well YouTube takes up the majority of my time but they take up the majority of my thoughts and it's stuff that I really love and I've been able to share only three videos so far but I love them and can watch them I can re-watch them 800 million times. Jenna Marbles commented and said she likes the new channel the sweethearted angel that I love with my whole heart. I screamed aloud. Okay, anyone else think I've blended my foundation thoroughly? I do. So I did take a little bit of setting powder and powder my cheeks. I've been doing that lately, just the areas in which I use my bronzer because it's just been making my bronzer blend out so nicely. If I'm not filming it, I'm not wearing makeup. But the other day I did. I put a full face of makeup on when I just went out and about and oh my God, it was wonderful to sit down and just do a full face of makeup and just enjoy the process of putting it on again. And that's another reason, frankly, why I'm trying to branch my content out because I miss wearing makeup just for the love of it, not for filming it, just sitting down and doing it. So to sit down and do my makeup without filming it was so relaxing to me. And I was like, oh my God, I need to do this more. I don't know, I'm just trying to like balance everything out in my life. It's been really lovely. And I thank you guys so much for the wonderful response on those videos. I cannot freaking wait to film more microscope videos. I have so many ideas. By the way, I'm taking the Fenty Shady Biz Bronzer and I'm using it on the Eco Tools Precision Highlight Brush. But I had a few people mention to me in a past video and they were saying like, this is a makeup channel. Why are you doing watercolor stuff? Why are you doing microscope stuff? And I guess I just have to say like, it's my way as somebody that's been doing this for so long, just doing what I love. I love makeup and I love talking about it, but it's my way of like branching out, trying new things, not boxing myself into one thing because I have boxed myself in. When I named my channel Raw Beauty Christie, I put myself in the category of beauty. So when I did my makeup the other day, I did something I've never done with my makeup before. And this could be another reason why so many people were like, bitch. And I'm like, maybe. So what I did was I took this little brush and I took powder. Doesn't matter what powder you use. So I brought it in the way that I've seen makeup artists do it and like people talk about doing it like with the celebrities. They like bring the powder in, it like makes their nose more narrow, but I guess it just kind of like helps blur that area. I don't know, maybe this means nothing, but this was another step that I did differently the other day. I don't know, I'm just recreating what I saw somebody else do. And then I took the other Fenty Beauty bronzer and this is the shade Into Sun. And this is more cool toned, more of like a contour. And I didn't really contour my nose, but I did just add with the same brush, which is the Eco Tools Defined Crease, just a little bit of definition right here along those areas. I never do this kind of step. 
I gotta play around with makeup every now and again, eh? And I'm being so, so light with this. And maybe this didn't really do anything. It could just look super normal. I've lost 10 pounds over the last couple of weeks. I'm super stoked about it. I had gained some weight back. It was getting really frustrating because my doctor put me on a new lifestyle because he was like, just try it out. If it doesn't work, then stop doing it. Oh, it did not work. I was really just trying to be more balanced because I mentioned to him, I'm like, you know, I just really want to eat more balanced. He just determined that with my hormones, because I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, and with my hormones and just the way everything works and my insulin resistance because of the PCOS, I just am one of those unlucky people that unfortunately doesn't have the luxury of being able to eat even just like sweet potatoes with dinner. I just balloon, I balloon. So I was on keto for two years and then I stopped for about a month. To me, I was feeling so sick to my stomach and I just felt cr so crappy that I went back to keto and I've been eating very, very healthy keto. So many people have been like, you seem happier, you seem more energetic. The only thing that I have done differently is get my eating habits back on track. My head has been better again. Um, I went through a really bad cycle with my head for a while there to where it was just so bad every single day. But I have some really, really good recipes that we've been working on and I would love to share them with you guys. Maybe I'll share them over on Sweet Life of Zach and Christy in case you guys are not interested in that. And that kind of channel is like my mishmash of everything that we want to do. So anything that's like, it's really so far been very garden centric, but we, can post anything over there. So if you guys want the keto video here, I can, but I have some recipes that have just been so, so good and so delicious and so filled with amazing ingredients, a lot of them being very plant-based and we just have really found new ways to cook things that have been so healthy and nutritious and taste really good. They're not just the same boring crap that maybe you might be used to all the time. And enough about that, we don't have to keep talking about it, but I wanted to mention it because I wanted to update since I did that one video and I said like I wasn't doing it anymore. I just used the CoverGirl Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in the shade Rich Brown. This is the eyeshadow palette that I have been using the last few times I've done my makeup. I really, really like it. So I've only used three of the six shades that are in here, but this is from a brand that I had never heard of before and it's the brand Kaleidos and their branding and their packaging is probably one of my favorites I've I've ever seen, hands down. It feels very Pat McGrath to me. It's called Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze. So tell me, it sounds a little Pat McGrath inspired. So on their Instagram, it does say that they are cruelty free. I don't really see it on their website, but that doesn't mean it's not there. I just didn't really dig that deep. Okay, so look at this packaging. It is so cool. It looks like those acrylic pores, you know? Oh God, it's so cool. It's magnetic right here. And so it really is so satisfying feeling in your hands. You've got the branded logo right there and when you open it up, this is what it looks like. I have used these shades so many times. They remind me very similarly of the Melt Cosmetics Gemini, which is some of my favorite shades. I just started with this shade here. And just run it quickly through my crease as you do. And I'm just using my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush for this. I did not use any other brushes that day. You really don't need to. You can just kind of haphazardly quickly toss this on. It's super easy. So then I'm taking that next color over the more warm shade and just running that a little bit lower and right down into the crease below that. Super simple. Some people were like asking, how do you do this eye look? And I was like, I don't, the same way I always do. Then I use this little packing brush from Morphe. This is the M456. And I just tapped that warm shade right on the lid. This is a brand I've really never heard of before. Have you guys heard of them? They sent three different palettes. This one is the one that obviously I reach for because I love these kinds of tones, like they're my jam. But their other palettes look really beautiful as well. So let me know if you guys want me to try those out in future videos. I absolutely will. Sometimes you gotta love an all matte eye look, you know? I love a good shimmer, but an all matte is just so easy. So in case you guys are interested in a house update, I'm gonna talk about this on the other channel as well, but uh, we have been looking at more land. We have found so many places that we love and there is something seriously wrong with each of them. Like one of them 
oh my god i love the house so much it was like my a-frame dream right on a river and when i say right on the river i mean coasts from the house like are in the river so it floods every single year and your house is going to get washed away in a matter of time but we found another one that we love so much out of our price range i shouldn't even be looking but you know there's seemingly no electricity, which is fine because we want to live off grid eventually, but I also do YouTube, so I have to be realistic with my goals. And when we were looking at the virtual tour, we were like, oh my God, we love it, we love it, we love it. I love everything about it. It is a hobbit house. Like I've never seen the railing that goes up these like three steps in the house literally looks like Gandalf's staff. It's the coolest. And I was so stoked about it. I was gonna set up a viewing for it. And then Zach and I were looking on the virtual tour that they have online. Zach was like, I don't see any outlets. And I was like, there are no outlets. And then we looked in the listing description even further and it was like all oil lamps in the house. So like there's no, there's no electricity. But then the listing said that there's high speed internet. And I'm like, how? But oh my God, if it wasn't the cutest Hobbit house I've ever seen, I want to live there. It was my Hobbit dreams. It's like this beautiful Creek on the property is 40 acres. Oh my God. So amazing. So these are the Coco Lashes Risque. And these are the ones that I don't know if you guys remember a couple of videos back, I did an eyeshadow look and I curled these and it totally ruined them. And I was like, oh my God, it ruined a pair of lashes. I was like, I'm going to salvage them, whatever. I'm just embracing it now. So I'm gonna be putting on this eyeliner today. This is the Flower Beauty Forever Wear Eyeliner and this is in the shade Brownstone. This is my favorite. It just closes off the eyes, which I love. Some people wanna open up the eyes. If that's the case, you can use a light water liner. But for me, I love the sultriness of, oh, look at that, bitch. All right, so that is the eyes done. I love them. It's just so, mm, so my cup of tea. I don't know about you guys, but this is like, this is what I want my eyes to look like every day. I sprayed my face with the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. I don't know if this does much, but you know, this is what I did. So it's what I'm gonna do. I'll never get over that. And that helps bring down the powderiness and then you can put your highlighter on. So the highlighter that I used was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Omrizi highlighter. If you guys have been following for a while, you know this is one of my ultimate faves. It's just so good. Such a beautiful highlighter. And then for lips, I used one of my favorite products and that is the Bite Beauty Flat White Lip Gloss. It is so beautiful and pigmented and just like, look at that color. Ah. I love that I don't need a liner with it because it just blends right into my skin so naturally without looking like ultra nude. Wet n Wild Mochalicious, I have not found a dupe yet. Somebody please help me. All right, my friends, and this is the finished makeup look. If you were wondering how I did it, this is how I did it. I love it so much. I really hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I know this video was really chilled out. I'm gonna be having some really fun content coming up soon. I will have all of the products I use linked in the description of this video if you guys are interested in any of them. I'm gonna really start incorporating the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream into my everyday because it's just so good. I don't know what it is or why it's actually magic. There's gotta be some Charlotte. What is in this magic cream? It's like the fountain of youth. Thank you again so much to ThreadUp for sponsoring the beginning portion of this video. The link is in the description of this video. And don't forget to use code CHRISTY30 for 30% off of your first order with ThreadUp. And thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And I will see you at my next video. Bye! What are you doing, Mama? Are you rubbing your face on my box? Okay, the camera's on me. It's um, what's important right now? It's your show. And it's my show. Maddie, get out here. Maddie, come back. Douglas, that Maddie, enough? come back. I'll do a little turn. Ooh. Raw hoodie Chrissy. That's cute. Yeah. Whoa. What? You're moving too much. I quat lot lot. Oh, she quat lot lot. I wear this every day. You're going to get sick of seeing it. <laughs> she's a flannel lady. You know. Damn, she's going on the ranch. When you have a garden, you got to get flannel. You go full ranch. You have to. It's part yeah. of the rules. I don't make them. Mom. Douglas, where are you just eating her puke? <laughs> yeah, he was. I swear to God, I'm going to beat your ass. So's your brat. I'm a brat? Yes. I'm over here helping you. You're helping, is... but are you helping? Oh, well, am I? Oh, God, that's gonna fall. Sure. Thank you.
Oh, ballerine. And I'm um, orange. Am I orange? Where is my brush? Where's my brush? Mm, hello? Like, but where? And how? And why? And who? Where? Oh. There you are, you little shit. Never leave me like that again.